Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Sleek Does Starcraft. I am Sleek, aka Dave from Madazamu. Uh, I'm going to be doing this every Sunday. It's just me by myself, solo, trying to build up my skill in uh, Starcraft. So, as you can see, I am the blue Zerg in the bottom right corner, and in the top left, we have the red Terran MSF. As per usual, I like to send out my overlord to the middle section ish just to have maybe some advanced warning on some stuff it doesn't always work out that way but hey I'm not really good with the whole scouting so might as well send out as you can see MSF is getting his first supply depot and I'm just kinda sitting sitting pretty oh no got my spawning pool coming this is my strategy is to get to uh, 10 supply, drop a spawning pool, and then start building up my supply again. Uh, Overlord is making that slow move. As you can see, MSF is already ahead of me, but he's only just getting his bunker. Uh, my strategy requires early pressure, really early pressure, or else I will fall behind economically getting an extractor, he's getting his refinery about the same time yeah. so um, I'm taking any suggestions that you guys might have if you're watching this just let me know uh, also uh, I'll, I have some other news but I'll leave that for next episode here we go so my overlords get into the middle Terran MSF is not really doing much He's only beaten me by one supply right now, so I'm not that far behind. He could have taken a way bigger bigger lead here. Let's see what we're sitting on. Yeah, I got my first four units coming, plus my queen. He's getting orbital command. He is... Yeah, see, we're the same supply now. I guess some of my supply is not workers. You go workers. Is there a workers? Uh, I don't see any. Okay, so no workers. Yeah. There you go. So I'm sending out my first set of uh, Zerglings here. He is building another supply depot. He's got a Reaper on the way. Some early Terran Reaper Scout slash Cheese. Not really cheesy though. I mean, if he was going Mass Reaper, then you know that would be the thing. But here we go. His Reaper is going to completely miss seeing my upcoming zerglings Let's see how this engagement turns out oh he's got oh it's this a bunker he's building a nice bunker right away but I am going to deny that bunker Let's see how he responds to this not really much his reapers still coming down to my base Took out some marines, take out some uh, more marines. He's trying to kite me, and he's Reaper is now turning back. He went into my base, but he didn't really do anything. He just took off. I am expanding behind this. That's always good with early pressure is to expand behind it. Uh, he is letting my Zerglings take out all of his production right now. Or, not his production, but his mineral line. He should have used a few of those SCVs to kill my Zerglings instead of letting them have free reign here. Uh, that's, how many workers did he lose here? So, so his units lost. He's lost 10 units so far. Uh, there's a... Uh, control, can you go control A? Ah, oh, there we go supply worker supply I, I don't really know what this all means I'm just control a that away go back down let's see I got some more zerglings coming see now I'm starting to push out uh, I got overlords all over the map scouting he is building this second command it's good for Terran to build their command centers in their base uh, he's upgrading stim getting a few more bunkers I am getting metabolic boost it's a little late I should have it before five minutes but I am now getting that steady stream of units coming and my second base is up and running where is he is just finishing building it and he still needs to fly it out here we go uh, it's a really good like learning tactic for Terran is to kite 
zerglings to the bunker. Yeah, it's an easy way to pick them off. Uh, at this point, I'm not really paying attention to what he's doing over here. I'm just kind of sending them in blindly as I, you know, macro behind it. Got some more units. These overlords are making a slow move. Still doing damage? No. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Get. No, nope, no upgraded anything yet. Metabolic boost is almost done. And I'm getting a Roach Warren. There you go. Still pumping out Zerglings. Got a good sizable force going right now. Uh, he's got three Marines plus two Reapers and a Marine in that bunker. I don't think he's ready for this. Yeah, those Zerglings will take out the Marines like nothing. He came. Yeah, see, same thing. He's pulling them to the bunker. Easy pickings. But they are still coming. This is where I actually started paying attention and told him to stay back here instead of running to that bunker. This is going to actually do some damage. He's got two orbital commands now. Still researching Stim. Getting a starport. Where is his starport? Or did he cancel it? Either he canceled it or I destroyed it. I didn't really catch that. Uh, let's see. Just more overlords. I'm not expanding or anything yet. I am on still just one gas? Yeah, I'm still just on one gas. I got two there, but I'm not taking from both. Uh, right now I pretty much got free rain around his base. He's got Hellions, which is a really good counter to Zerglings. Continual Zerglings. Like if I had not upgraded to Roaches at this point, he would be fine to deal with these onslaught of Zerglings. Uh, my goal, like my playstyle goal, is to be able to do this steady stream of units and macro behind it. Uh, if you ever watched me and Mike play, it's pretty much what I do. I'm trying a little bit more macro game, but this is where I want to stay. As you can see I'm sitting on a ridiculous amount of minerals right now, which is not good. I should be expanding with this many minerals backlogged. I also have my units queued to here, which gave him a few pot shots on my roaches before they got up the ramp. But it's not enough. There's just too many of them. Too, too many. Just enjoy this this show. Yeah, you can still see that blue stream of units coming. Uh, what is he building right now? It's just Marines and SCVs. He's just building units. I'm just building units. He's guarding this spot like crazy. I don't know if he realizes what's coming. Reapers down. His Marines are all down. This Hellion would be enough to deal with these Zerglings. But not with these roaches. And that's it. I'm pretty sure. I know he could come back from this. He's just got to play it smart. Got more roaches. More roaches. Yeah. Nothing but roaches right now. And I'm sitting on a good amount of money. He's sitting on a good amount of gas. He's. Wow. His worker line is over here. What about mine? Mine's probably ridiculously under. And I'm getting my third expansion, finally. See? Even if you know you have the game in the bag, you should still continue to play, because people can pull shit out of their ass. They really can. So I'm still upgrading, still getting units, and expanding behind this. Yeah. Seems to be going pretty good. Just demolishing his base. Uh, he has no way to defend, to defend against this right now. I don't know what the hard counter for... Roaches is at this point. He's building widow mines. I do not like widow mines, but I, they're probably good. Good for what they do. Yeah, this bunker's done. He could be repairing this bunker though, which he didn't do. It's over. Yeah, see, he GG'd. Uh, this is the very first episode. Uh, Sleek does uh, StarCraft. I'll have some news next week regarding this sh this show, me taking back my uh, my IGN of Sleek. Thanks for watching, guys.